Also in Virginia Beach, though, day one of testimony in the case of a man accused of poisoning his ex girlfriend to death. A key piece of evidence almost right off the top in the Joseph Merlino case. Everyone in the courtroom got to see what prosecutors say is Ellie Tran's final moments alive. Merlino, though, continues to say the other person in that video is not him. Then your size Jason Marks walks us through the pictures. Prosecutors warn the jury that they're going to see that video several times throughout the trial. Those cameras were put up after Ellie Tran broke up with Joseph Merlino. Wan Lee, Ellie Tran's mother, couldn't fight back the tears telling the jury what happened Valentine's Day 2017. She says she was at home waiting for Tran to get there. There was a bang at the door and a voice said, Mom, Mom, open the door. Video cameras from Tran's Virginia Beach home captured Lee coming outside. Her daughter hobbling around on one leg. Prosecutors showed the whole video from the time that Tran arrived from home and got out of the car. They say you can see Joseph Merlino running up to Tran and inject cyanide into the leg. Tran was unconscious 15 minutes later. By midnight, she was brain dead and died by 5 the next day. Defense attorneys say that's not possible that it was Merlino because he wasn't even in town. They told the jury he was in Victoria, Virginia, visiting his mother. Prosecutors told the jury they found disturbing searches on Merlino's computer. Searches for how much cyanide it would take to kill someone. They say he also bought a syringe. Merlino's in the midst of a two-month hunger strike. Prosecutors say he wasn't eating to alter his appearance. Defense attorneys told the jury there's no evidence at the scene, no murder weapon, and no purchases of cyanide. Though officers did testify that they found a gas mask that would protect from cyanide in Joseph Merlino's car and another inside his Virginia Beach home. That's the latest in Virginia Beach. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.